Bristol Blenheim Mark IV WMZ is always a welcome sight at air shows in the UK and Europe. The only flying example of this classic aircraft always performs an impressive display. Regularly flown by John Romain, the Blenheim appears to be an agile performer, showing a maneuverability that belies its size. But what's the aircraft like from the pilot's perspective? John Romain is the chief pilot on the Blenheim. The Blenheim uh, is very nice to fly. It's uh, very light. It's uh, very manoeuvrable. Um, it's quite easy, really, for a tailwheel aeroplane. It's not a difficult tailwheel aeroplane. It's quite simple. There are a lot of other airplanes that are a lot harder than this. Um, ailerons are very good. Most of the controls are well matched. Um, apart, really, from the elevators, they're the heaviest of all the controls. But other than that, it's a very nice, light aeroplane to fly, considering its size. The Bristol Mercury engines have a smooth, powerful sound, but present some problems to the pilot. The complexities really are the, uh, the engines. They are the, um, the real gotcha, if you like, with a Blenheim. Uh, they need very careful handling, especially on throttle openings. Um, they only have two position propellers. They're not constant speed. So they really act like um, a fixed pitch, but they're either fine or coarse, depending uh, what you need. We cruise in course pitch and we always do the display in course pitch, but takeoff and landings are in fine. So within those uh, parameters, you're really handling the engines as if they were fixed pitch propellers all the time. Consequently, if you do something like a, a steep pull up and a wing over, the engine RPM is going to decrease quite dramatically at the top of that pull over as the airspeed decreases as well. So the engines are the tricky handling. Um, they just need very careful monitoring on oil pressures and cylinder head temperatures. Thank you. 